Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of maths to Scratch. If you haven't already, check the description below for links to previous videos as this one is part of a series. In this video, we're going to be using our Scratch Project Planner to plan a mathematical rule for our Scratch game, Whack-A-Mole. Are you ready? Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so here we are in our Remix Whack a Rule project. What you'll need to do once you boot up this project is you'll need to search for the sprite custom rules. It's down next to the rule sprite and it's just an empty one that houses some code that we will use to create our custom rule. Okay, so I've got a little note here that I've created to step you through what you need to do to create a rule. We're going to be focusing on steps one and three in this video. So Step one is to firstly define the rule. So to do that, we need to create a new variable with the name of your rule in the define rules section. So we do that. And we're gonna look at step three to create the rule block, make a custom block that checks whether or not the rule has been met. So before we get into our scratch coding, uh, let's jump across into our planner. Okay, so here we are in the scratch project planner. You'll see that we've got the empty sprite custom rules down here, we've got our stage. Let's just walk through the variables box over here. So we've got a space here to create our new variable name. This will house our rule. We've also got the answer variable, which is the return value of what the user inputs into this field right here after they press this check mark. We've also got some space here to define a custom block that will have the logic to meet our rule. So let's get stuck into it. The rule that we're gonna be creating today is a rule where a number uh, exists between 20 and 30. So to create our variable, that's the first thing we need to do. We're just going to write rule underscore between 20 and 30. Cool. That's for this sprite only. So whenever we get values like this, so on and so forth, this rule for this mole will activate. That's what we're, that's our goal here. So now we need to define our custom block. So is between 20 and 30. Now I hope you can see the link between our custom block name and our variable name. We've actually just taken the, the part that relates exactly to what our rule will do. So if our answer is between 20 and 30, then we want to do something. And right then, that sentence, I've actually just created the code that I will need uh, in Scratch. So if if the answer, and that's our variable name here, if our answer, if this guy over here is between 20 and 30, then pop up the mole. That's exactly what we need to do, pop up the mole. And that is the essence of what we need to be doing in our Scratch project. So what we'll do in our next video is we are going to take this English and we're gonna translate it into some Scratch box. I'll see you in that one. That's all for this video. In the next one, we're going to take our mathematical rule that we've just planned and translate it into Scratch Blocks. Drop me a comment below and tell me what mathematical rule that you came up with and that you're going to put into your game. Hit the like button if you like this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button too and the bell so you're notified when another video is released. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. Take it easy.